Demand is always at a price. The demand for anything at a given price is the amount of it which would be brought per unit of time at that price. It simply means how much is a person willing to buy at a certain price during a specified period. At another price, he will of course buy a different quantity, more at a lower price and lesser at a higher price. Let's now plot the demand curve of an imaginary customer. Along OX is the quantity of goods purchased and along OY is the price. It can be seen that at price OP, OM is the quantity which would be purchased. At price OQ, which is a higher price, the quantity demanded becomes lesser at OL. At OR, which is the lower price, the quantity demanded increases to ON. If all the co-joining points are plotted, we would now see a downward sloping curve called as the demand curve. Thus, it can be clearly seen that as the price falls, quantity demanded increases and vice versa. There are some obvious reasons why people buy more when the price falls and which is why the demand curve tends to slope downwards. First one, consumers can now afford to buy more. He is willing and able to buy more because the thing being cheaper, his real income increases. This is called the income effect. Second one, when the commodity becomes cheaper, it is substituted wholly or partly for other commodities. This is called the substitution effect. Third, increased usage. Commodities tend to be put to more uses or less urgent uses when it becomes cheaper. For example, if water is dear, we will use it only for drinking. When cheaper, it could be used even for other purposes like washing or less urgent purposes. 4. The Law of Diminishing Marginal Utility According to Marshall, the consumer has a diminishing marginal utility for each additional unit of a commodity and therefore he will be willing to pay only less for each additional unit. A rational consumer will not pay more for lesser satisfaction. He is induced to buy additional units only when the prices are lower. Fifth, Arrival of new consumers when the price of a commodity falls, more consumers start buying it because some of those who could not afford to buy it earlier may now be able to buy it. This raises the number of consumers of a commodity at a lower price and hence increases the demand for the commodity.